How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be talking about the N64 Classic Edition. And is it going to come out? Is it going to come out in 2018? Is it going to rival, compete with the PlayStation Classic Edition? Let's check it out. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, let's get right into it. So, I think Nintendo would be pretty gutsy to try to pull this off. I think Nintendo would be very, very bold to do this because they're going to be in direct competition with the PlayStation Classic Edition. If they were to release it in 2018, this year. Now, I'm getting kind of this information from comicbook.com, and I'll leave a link down in the description below, and I'll be using this site for reference throughout this video so you guys can check that out and yeah guys I don't know if this will happen Nintendo has actually focused their attention on the NES Classic Edition and the Super NES Classic Edition getting out as many as they can to the consumers and trying to fill that need when people were screaming for more and more the demand was very very high and people can get their hands on it and scalpers were just having a heyday so I don't know if this is gonna happen I was actually thinking that this was gonna happen in 2019 and they were gonna release it in the next Christmas season of 2019 so I, I don't know but it's a possibility and this is why this is why it's a possibility so in Europe Nintendo has filed a trademark of an image of a Nintendo 64 controller. Why is this important? Now this actually could mean a few other things too. But why is this important? Well, they did something very, very similar to when the NES Classic Edition and the Super NES Classic Edition was trademarked. So it's a similar pattern. But does that mean it's going to be released? I don't know. It's all speculation at this point, and it's just a rumor, but hey, it's a pattern. It's a pattern we've seen in the past, and it could happen. So why does this matter? So first of all, it'd be the 90s all over again. It would be my childhood all over again. 90s nostalgia overload. And Nintendo would compete with Sony. They're competing with them now. And it would just be so cool to see the Nintendo 64 Classic Edition go at it with the PlayStation Classic Edition. That would just be a 90s kid's dream. Like a flashback, if you will. And it would just be so cool. I do think, regardless of if it's going to come out 2018 or not, I think it will be released, okay? I think they're working on it, I think they have a plan, I think they're going to do something because the NES Classic Edition and the Super NES Classic Edition were super, super successful. And when Nintendo has a formula, they kind of stick to it. And I think that it will be released. And I'm going to tell you guys, it's a great time to be a retro video gamer, a retro video game fan. The PlayStation Classic and the possibility of a Nintendo 64 Classic Edition coming out. Now, a few other things. The price tag. Now, this is all conjecture. We don't have any information. We don't have anything. This is all rumors. This is all just speculation. I think Nintendo, if they were so bold, they would price this at 90 bucks, And they would include 25 games instead of 20 and that would be like a poke into Sony's side, if you will. And it would, just, it would just be hilarious to see this all go down if that's the way it went down. And the only problem I can see with pricing with the Nintendo 64 Classic Edition, if, if and when it gets released, the controllers. The controllers are a hot mess and it might cost some money to produce those things and shipping those things and putting them in the package now I could see them having the mini and one controller and then you could buy other controllers 
as an option. Kind of like what they did with the NES Classic Edition, but you could see people wanting to have two packed in. Well, I don't know. We'll see. The N64 has four players, compatibility with certain games, so yeah, I, I don't know about that one. That's just pure speculation. And it would just be amazing if that were to happen. Now, something to keep in mind is that they are releasing Smash Brothers Ultimate this winter as well. So, it just depends on what Nintendo's focus is. And if they actually knew that the PlayStation Classic was coming down the line, it, it just depends. And if they, if they really want to have a killer Christmas season, which they will regardless because of Smash Brothers and the Switch. The Switch is killing it, by the way. I love the Switch. And if they want to have an even better Christmas season, they should release this thing. They should compete with Sony. And, yeah. And it's, it's going to be interesting to see what happens here in the next few months. Again, rumors, guys. Rumors. What do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen here? Do you think an in Nintendo 64 Classic Edition is going to come out this year? What do you guys think? And what games would you want to have on it? I've done a video in the past of that. I actually did it about a year ago or so. Check that out on my channel. And I still kind of stand by those games uh, being included on the system. So, yeah, this is going to be an interesting time. And I just cannot iterate this enough. It is a great time to be a retro video game fan. Yes. Thank you, Sony. Thank you, Nintendo. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.